Hello my dear friends, today we have a bunch of fragrances from the house of Alexandria Fragrances. This is a perfume house from the United States. I believe they are based in California and the man behind this house is Hani Hafiz. He is a young perfumer who is concentrating mainly on traditional perfumes, atars and some high-end niche clones. I hope you enjoy this review. So guys, we have about four fragrances here from the house of Alexandria Fragrances. Now, first of all, how did I get these? These were sent to me by Hani Hafiz himself, but he did not approach me as such. In fact, it was I who approached him because I, when I was on Facebook, I'm not on Facebook anymore. Uh, when I was on Facebook, I saw some ads uh, of his uh, new perfume house and uh, he wanted to uh, bring to attention a beautiful clone of uh, Creed's Jardin du Diomalfi. So it's one of my favorite fragrances. I have only about 40 ml left so I thought why not try a clone and save some money because I feel sometimes it's 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 nice to be wearing niche fragrances but seriously guys Creed prices are just way way off. I'm not trying to promote this brand anyway by telling you these stories but I found these to be well priced but sadly instead of the Creed Jardin Amalfi clone he sent me sweet smoke there was probably a miscommunication and I, I it's okay I mean I haven't uh, paid for these so I just cannot complain I'm happy with what I got and I can compare these fragrances as well for all of you so we have sweet smoke a full bottle 30 ml bottle uh, we have Hawaiian volcano which is Creed uh, virgin island water clone this one is uh, Tom Ford's tobacco vanille clone which is a very very popular sexy fragrance this one too Creed's uh, virgin island water then we have Egyptian king which is uh, an original blend it's a traditional oud mukhalat sort of a blend i'll try to cover this later today let's just focus on popular fragrances italian mafia is a clone of uh, a popular leather scent from the house of memo which is um, uh, african leather it's it's very famous among men especially people who like um, dark themed oriental heavy leathery fragrances all right so the first fragrance is mm, sweet smoke uh, it is very close to, uh, you can say, Dua's uh, Mobster, Mobster, something like Mobster, a DNA of Mobster with that uh, uh, beautiful, sharp, herbalish tobacco, sweet tobacco leaf kind of a vibe which comes from tobacco vani, which I absolutely adore. I would say this is close to about 85%, not more than that, because it's missing the nuttiness that. That, that beautiful, involving, dark, nutty, uh, bitter, bittersweet vibe of tobacco vanille. It was quite, quite consuming. It was quite uh, a beautiful note. It really, I really love that note. It's missing from this bottle. But uh, the newer tobacco vanille bottles from Tom Ford also miss that one. This one smells more like the newer batches of tobacco vanille. So not exactly my sort of tobacco vanille scent but it does the job pretty well it's got that beautiful opening uh, boozy sort of opening there's there's some cherry uh, i would say cherry pipe tobacco something like a heliotropin note which you also get from roja enigma which is one of my favorite fragrances the dry down is beautiful you get some nice leathery vanilla in here it's a very good quality scent that is for sure this is definitely very good quality so uh, if um, I, I, I think the price of this, this is the 30 ml size. It costs about 34 US dollars on his website, which is alexandriafragrances.com. So if you are interested in saving some money, you definitely want to check out this one. So the next one now is Hawaiian Volcano, which is a clone of Creed's Virgin Island Water. I love Creed's Virgin Island Water now. It's just so, so nice. It's so... Uh, beautiful it's such a light cologne it's, it's got a very young man sort of a vibe and it's also got some mature elements which I love it's got a sweet lemons it's got a uh, sharp mintiness which is beautiful very very well done and it's got this creamy coconutty vanilla sort of vibe in the background which gives you the pina colada vibe and it's uh, one of the favorite fragrances of men around the globe especially for the summer months and I, I'll have to agree with it now most definitely now Hawaiian Volcano in terms of blending and quality definitely lacks a lot of oomph. 
this is i would believe if craftsmanship is concerned and the blend is concerned and the comparison is concerned is about 75 percent it's it's got it, it's got the essence of virgin island water but it's not got the soul of it you get my point guys there is richness in the individual notes in here it, it has it has more balance the notes are very well cemented and it feels like a really nice a unique niche sort of course very good quality but guys price price is where creed really really has to do some homework it has to do some r d reach out to the perfume stars in the fragrance world all around the globe and take a consensus i believe they are just hiking up the prices like anything so hawaiian volcano has the same has the same smell it it kind it kind of gives you the virgin island feel for a very cheap price uh, the same price again 30 ml is around 34 dollars 60 ml is around 50 us dollars but it's not got the oomph of virgin island water but i won't complain if i had to compare this fragrance to a designer uh, a nice designer this is beating all of the designer fragrances uh, most definitely it's a super fragrance uh, a nice clone but it's not exactly like creed's virgin island water and the moment you spray it on you my words will ring back in your head and you will understand what i was trying to say anyway we come back to the third one which is Italian Mafia here. Italian Mafia is a clone to uh, Memo's um, African leather. I had a sample uh, and uh, I haven't sprayed it a lot guys I'm telling you because it gives me the feel of interlude and I love Amwash interlude. Uh, I really liked African leather and this fragrance really does justice for the price. I mean I'm not really into Memo's fragrances. Uh, some of the fragrances were nice but uh, Italian Mafia has almost nailed it. A, a very dark, sharp, greenish kind of leather which has this galbanum sort of tone, green, grassy. It's sort of overwhelming like the green Irish tweed opening, if you can relate to that. But later on things settle down, it becomes uh, lighter, uh, more uh, appealing or you can say universally more appealing. The dry down is basically sweet, candied vanilla. The transitions are there so this is one of those heavy oriental fragrances and you get a nice feel out of this so it's a good clone i would say and uh, if i had to really choose between uh, memo's african leather and this i would go for this because it would save me a lot of money but if i had to choose uh, between creed's uh, creed's virgin island water and this one i would go for a decant of creed's virgin island water the first one tobacco vani given the recent uh, given the conditions of the recent tobacco vani uh, formulations i would definitely go for this but if i had a bottle of creed uh, of tom ford's um, vintage tobacco vani i would never ever dream of getting a clone or even a reformulation of that that was a lovely lovely batch it doesn't get as much compliments as people talk about and uh, it's definitely a mature fragrance but it's so comforting to wear it's got strength, it's got its potency, the sillage is nice, the longevity is nice, the balance of each in, uh, individually green ingredient is nice and the best part is that it's a unique smell, it's a unique blend and I really thank Tom Ford for bringing that uh, in his preview lineup. Anyway, so those are my honest opinions on the House of Alexandria fragrances. Uh, I'll put down the links in the video description. I hope you enjoyed this one. Take care, bye-bye and yes, a big thank you to Mr. Hani Hafiz.